Hi guys, and welcome back to Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. Last time, uh, we did Chapter 17, River of Regret, and uh, we powered up Ephraim. And now we're on our way to Leon. We're coming close to endgame, if I remember correctly. Actually, let me... Yeah, so as you can see, I've taken some time, I've leveled up a few characters, I've started using them again. We're all sort of getting to where I want them to be. Uh, yeah. Honestly, actually, I it's been a while since I've played. It's been about two months. So, pardon me if I'm not completely up to date on where we are. I feel I feel as if you should have something else, Tana. Okay, you will be just just a okay. That's a good move. Uh if we could list Actually Supplies? There we go, give. Uh, we will give a knight's crest and the talisman. Oh, and the tomahawk. I wonder if there's a shop. There's a shop in Vehenna, right? Um, I would like a mend. Um, I'm very tempted to get a cure, but I think I'll. I think we'll get a. Hmm. I think we'll get a shine for loot. Maybe another flux for what's this bucket? Oh, hey, why don't we sell this while we're at it? There we go, perfect. Uh, no, wait, sorry, I meant to be doing other things. So we're gonna put. Uh, oh shit! Well, good thing we have spare characters to hold on to crap. Like, yeah, we're never using a double axe. Like, never. Um. You can just you can just take a whole bunch of iron and steel swords. Okay, that should give Calm enough room to do that. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Well, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, you can take a Divine. Uh, take a Fire. And take a Shine. Less powerful, less cool looking, but definitely... Oh, wait. You can give this right back, and you are going to take mend. Because the more healers I have, the better. Uh, Natasha, darling. All right, I want you to take. I want you to take another mend, and then we will get you more weaponry once the first mend breaks. Uh, supplies. I want you to give this eclipse. I want you to take this flux. Boom! Perfect. And I'm pr you're probably going to be seeing me do that a lot more. Uh, just handing units I don't have items. Because uh, then they hold on to these items and freeze up my inventory a little. Alright, let's go. The sacred stones that defeated the Demon King radiate a constant and dazzling light. 
The sacred stones are the only power against the dark, the last hope of humanity. Oh, I'm sure we'd forge something new. I mean, we made the sacred stones, so. It is only natural that evil would seek to destroy the stones. There can be no other force behind this attempt to gain the stones. In childhood, a friend appears before Ephraim. Oh, no way! Oh, this isn't gonna end well for anyone involved. River of Regrets. Hold oh, well, on, let me just turn my mic to a more suitable setting. Two years ago. Okay, great. More flashbacks. How do you intend to use the sacred stone, Leon? Do you really think you can tap into its power? My... Hmm, my research isn't complete yet, but there's no mistaking the power the sacred stones contain. The sacred stone grotto seems especially responsive to my dark magic. I suppose it's because it contains both sacred and demonic properties. Regardless, if I can just press my study for a little harder, well, I think I might be able to use it to heal my father's illness. If that works, there's no telling how many other people I can help as well. You really think that's wise? The power contained within the stones is beyond our understanding. My father tells me the stones possess a power not to be trifled with. Uh-huh. Father, Ma father McGregor is also against it. That's why they still won't give me direct access to the stone of Grotto. For the time being, I've made do with the radiant energy surrounding it. Uh, nothing compared to the raw power of the stone itself, but if I can show Father McGregor some real progress, perhaps one day, using the sacred stones to study magic. Erica, Ephraim, what do you two think? Using the divine power of the sacred stone in this way, you don't think it's a very good idea, do you? It's just that I know nothing at all with magic. I would if there were some way I could help you, but I simply can't. But Leon, I see how hard you've worked to help others. I know how much you want the power to make others happy. I know these things, and because I know you, I trust your intentions. Ephraim. If you hope to use the power of the sacred stones for good, I trust you can. I'm behind you all the way. This hurts so much knowing what's in the future. I agree with Ephraim entirely. You spend every night in the library studying cures for your father's illness. The power of the sacred stones is just too powerful to be used for personal gain. But Leon, I think you'll be fine. You're the kindest person I know. Thanks, both of you. Hearing those words from you means a lot to me. Actually, this hasn't been made public yet. I've already saved some using the knowledge I've learned so far. You have? Uh-huh. A while back, a fire of Ravage Seraphim, and a little girl got trapped in the flames. Her burns were terrible, not even healing staves were able to cure her injuries. Ugh. But just a sliver of the stone's power restored her life and healed her wounds. We saved that girl's life, Ephraim. Oh, if you could have seen the tears of joy in her mother's eyes. You really did it, huh? You are special, Leon. Congratulations. Well, thanks, but there's still so much more to be done. I'm happy, though. To be honest, I just want to be able to help you. I want to put the ancient magics to use for the common good. That's how I do. Leon. And as my research moves forward, I'll be able to do much more, too. We have only the barest understanding of how dark magic operates. Maybe we can use it to not only heal wounds, but also to stop disease. What if we could read the future, predict disasters, move mountains? Hold on, Leon, you can't take too much on yourself all at once. What good is helping people if you sacrifice yourself to do it? Oh, yes, of course, sorry, I got carried away. You have a soft heart, Leon. I bet you haven't taken any real time off at all. This is what we're going to do. Today, we're going into the city. And you're going with us, Leon. What? Ephraim, you've got a history report here. We're taking today off, come on, let's go. But Ephraim... It's just one day, and I won't tell anyone. Do you? Won't it be fun for the three of us to spend a day in the city? Eve America. Thanks so much. I'm lucky to have the two of you as friends. Wow. This sucks. We have the Stone of Reneus. The final stone is in Rothstein. Large jump, can you tell us anything about the Stone of Rothstein? Naturally, as the Rothstein's very own princess, I know a thing or two about our stone. The palace, uh, quarry currently houses our sacred stone. Follow me and I'll take you there. 
I sent the Freelian army ahead before us. They should be on route to Rostin. If we are, we can join them at the banks of the Nabuin River? Okay. Do not falter! Show them the might of Freylia! Oh, jeez. He crit and still didn't kill him. They're weak. Oh, dear. Are you telling me that Pegasus Knights died to mages? You must be crazy. Well, this was a stupid move. Lady Siren, the enemy's headed this way. Hello, who are you? Are you serious? crowd has been defeated and still they fight on? They're tough. You Freylian fools have been wiped out by those guys. Oh no, we're now we're finished as well. Everyone, please remain calm. If you panic and flee, the enemy will simply surround you. If you remain here and don't move, I promise to protect you all. Lady Serene. Jeez. Okay, good, we're close. I was like, we have to go now. Brother, look there! A skirmish. Is that Cyrene? What's going on? We must go to her aid. Everyone hold, something evil is afoot. Hello, Leon. Leon? Erica, Ephraim. Leon, where have you been all this? Erica, stop! Brother? Leon, we met recently in Grotto Keep, right? Do you remember what you told me then? Of course I remember. What of it? You. I can repeat it for you now if you would like. The ruins of Reneus, the murder of your father, it was all my doing. I, Leon, Prince of Grotto, made it happen. Leon! You lied! That can't be! Don't be fooled, Erica. Keep your guard up. That's not Leon. What amusing things come out of, come battling out of your mouth. You always thought of Leon as kind and gentle and weak, didn't you? Admit it. No, Leon, Erica, and I were friends. They were things we kept to ourselves, of course, but we shared so much. And no matter what happened, no matter how much time passed, we're still friends. Leon would never betray us, not in a million years. 